Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, so in this session, we are going to focus on how to connect Ninja Trader with uh, interactive brokers. Now, Ninja Trader uh, is a chart income scanner, which is freely available. So all you need to do is put your email address and download it. It's like quite advanced. You can do a lot of uh, configuration, uh, customize it based on your trading needs. And uh, interactive brokers, you need to open a live trading account. And uh, the advantage is that you can pull the data from interactive brokers and connect it to Ninja Trader. Otherwise, the data cost will come around uh, 2000 rupees per month for you in India. So, and moreover, uh, interactive brokers is also pretty good uh, trading applications. If you want to automate it or do a research on options and all, they have a lot of features in that. A big fan of interactive brokers. So now coming to the point, uh, what we need to do first is uh, you need to download this uh, Interact uh, Ninja Trader, and also along with the Ninja Trader, you need to go and download the uh, IB Gateway. Uh, okay, so you need to download this IB Gateway uh, ten point one six. Once you download this IB Gateway, you need to put your interactive broker's user ID and password there, and click on Connect. Once you click uh, Connect on that, uh, your screen will appear like this. So mine is currently connected. So uh, before you connect it with the Ninja Trader, what you need to do, you need to go to the set configure settings. Under settings, make sure that your uh, read only API has been uh, disabled, unticked. Put the socket number as uh, 4001. Usually the number can vary. Sometimes they may put 7946 in the number actually whatever the socket number you're going to put in your interactive IB gateway. Now this particular number should also match with your uh, interactive brokers connections. Sorry, Ninja Trader connections. When you click on Ninja Trader connections, like right now mine, I'm connected with interactive brokers one connection. It will not appear by default. You need to configure it. How you configure is uh, click on configure, go select interactive brokers and click add then the interactive brokers will come here okay like you need to select this click on add button then it would appear here now post uh, connection you need to go to configure and uh, select uh, by default it will come interactive brokers one interactive brokers not one it will come just interactive brokers for you and then select gateway because here you have two two options one is uh, interactive brokers will give you a desktop application. You need to install that. That is TWS. You have to keep that open and then run Ninja Trader application. The problem of that is it will slow down your PC. So to prevent that, you can actually go for a gateway and uh, select the path wherever the IB you have installed, uh, the IB gateway you have installed, put that uh, path here and make sure the socket number which you have put in your uh, this uh, configuration that is 4001 matches with this number. Both the numbers should be same. Otherwise the system will not work. So there's a, a video on how to connect interactive brokers with uh, Ninja Trader. You can look into that configuration settings there that will help you. Now post that comes the most important task. Start with the tools. What Ninja Trader does is it will give you by default a certain futures contract, which are predominantly US market. But we are going to trade, assuming you're going to trade in Indian market, click on add and then st start with your master identity, uh, master instrument. So let's say I want to add ICICA bank. Okay, now I select ICICA bank. So select stock. That, that will be cash market. Currency, you can set it to INR. Okay, it really doesn't make a big difference, but exchange makes a lot of difference. It's going to pull the data from that particular exchange. So select NSA. And the new setting here is that on the symbol mapping, uh, when you go to this interactive brokers uh, tab, the name should match exactly whatever the security identification interactive brokers has allocated. So for example, for ICICI bank, if you go down here and search for, uh, let's say 
ICICI. Okay, I think it would come in page four. No, nine. Yeah. So here, see, if you select ICICI ban one, it will pick up ICICI Pro Nifty private bank ETF. So instead of that, you can, you want ICICI bank, just select this code. That's all it matters there. So select ICICI bank there and then come and paste it. Or you can type it also if you know the code, it's fine. Okay, so click apply and click OK. Now your instrument has been added to the list. Then you can do a lot of things. So quickly, I'll show you a couple of features on Ninja Trader. For the rest, you can visit their official website because I struggled a lot of time on mapping it. Now what I do is I go to tools and uh, I I go to, sorry, I go to uh, the, under new, you have something called as a market analyzer. Okay. So select market analyzer. If you select this market analyzer, a window will pop up. Uh, so in my case, this is my market analyzer. Now the most powerful thing about uh, Ninja Trader, which uh, I find some even uh, it's a charting also doesn't have this feature to be very precise. They have it, but not up to uh, this robust uh, kind of a level. So here you need to add the instrument which we selected. So go select ICICA bank. It will appear here. Okay. So it will take some time. It, it is pulling the data from there. So after the stock gets added, so it's given you the latest value. That is uh, like when the market is running, it will show you the live price. Uh, I use uh, TSI. That's 12.01. Then uh, EMA, TSI for hourly, all the data can be pulled here and added. Like if you're an RSI fan, like I'm not a big fan of RSI, I use uh, Hichimoku extensively or any indicator that you like, you can uh, code it in Ninja Trader and add it to the uh, list. Like they give you a platform where you can code your own indicator and uh, convert it into a standard format. Okay, so here I go select the columns. Okay, so let's say you're an RSI fan. Okay, uh, yeah, you, you need to select indicator, click on add. So by default, what it does, it pulls the ADL indicator by default. Now remember, these are all predefined indicators in Ninja Trader. Uh, like I told, for example, Hichimoku, which is the most uh, powerful uh, with 80-85% uh, accuracy, it works well. I use Hichimoku extensively well. You can read uh, ba Sudha, uh, Balakrishna Sude Sudekar's book on Hichimoku Cloud. It's a very good book. So that indicator, uh, I have uh, got it customized uh, from, uh, in fact, I bought it from uh, uh, lizard indicators. They sell all indicators. You can buy from them also if you are wanted to think. So coming back to the point here. Uh, uh, yeah. So you can go to this RSI indicator here. Okay. Where is this RSI? Now what this software does compared to others is I can calculate RSI. Usually what they do, they take the closing price, minute price, like you can, you want a one minute car SI by default, they give you close last one minute using the minute data. So for example, you want to calculate RSI for uh, 13 minutes, then you can just put 13 minutes. It will calculate. Now this feature is not there in charting. Otherwise charting is also not a bad tool. Okay. Now I'll tell you one more interesting fact. What if I want to calculate RSI on some other indicators value? It may sound crazy. Who knows? It may work for you. So go to indicators and you can calculate RSI on an ADX. You can calculate uh, RSI on uh, Fibonacci levels. You can calculate RSI on Hichimoku clouds. I don't know how weird it may appear, but let's give it a try. So select Hichimoku cloud and uh, you can, uh, okay. So here comes the most important part. It says, uh, price based on last value minute 13. Okay. And, uh, you select. Okay. Now, 
uh, here it tells you. Okay, so basically what we did, we have taken Hichimoku cloud ka 13 minute ka data. On that 13 minute, it is going to calculate the RSI level for the 13 minutes. Okay, so it may make it more complicated or you want to keep it simple. Uh, you can just take RSI on, let's say, EMA. You want to calculate RSI on an EMA for a period of 30, uh, 30 period EMA, you want to take it and the value you keep, can keep it 13 and then for the number of days you want to calculate it like this is like look back period like how much data you want to use to calculate it so you can put it 85 and then select apply and this the column will appear and it will give you a data okay now after that then comes a one more interesting fact of uh, ninja trader Go here, create alerts. Okay. And uh, you can set your own alert here. Like you can go add a condition stating that whatever the indicator you have created, if that particular indicator value equals for a numerical value, let's say 30, 13, and click OK, it will start giving you alert on the system. Like it keeps giving you pop up on the system. This is one of the very good feature, like which uh, most of the applications don't have it or they charge a bomb for it. Okay, so then comes the next part of it charting. Excellent charting uh, features you have here. Like uh, you can set your own, uh, uh, you can configure the chart table based on your requirement. Uh, Okay, so there are a couple of YouTube videos on how to configure the chart, the features and all that. So you can set your own time frame here, three minutes, four minutes, or you can configure your time period there. Okay, so and also one more thing, when you connect to Ninja Trader with the interactive broker, by default in the properties, it will tell, show the data for last 20 days or 30 days that you can configure it uh, based on your uh, requirement. Like, okay, that's one thing. Otherwise it will pull the data only for 20 days. You need to change it. You can change that. Okay, hopefully this video helps. Thank you.